All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Comment Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, you have to forgive me. It's raining, and I'm going to try to talk through the rain to get these videos done. Um, I have a more comprehensive video on the subject. I just never got a chance to sit home and really make it and really put my thoughts out on my laptop because, you know, that's the video. Like, those are the videos that I want to I want to tell you about. But Tank Davis, he's been catching a lot of heat, okay? I mean, people people been on Tank Davis' helmet. I'm telling you, they've been on his helmet hard. Some of the criticism I do think is justified. Uh, some, some of the criticism, I don't really think that, you know, all the criticism that he's getting, I, I don't think is justifiable, you know? I just don't really think that. Um, Tank Davis, he went out, and you would think that he lost the fight the way people talking. I mean, you would think he lost the fight. Tank Davis didn't lose the fight. What Tank Davis did, Tank Davis lost to his own discipline and the scale. Tank Davis lost the discipline. And see, unfortunately for him, okay, his talent is so good that he's able to go in there and still do a lot of things with minimal training. But see, that's going to run out one day. And I'm a coach and I know better, okay? So I'm a coach. And as a coach, you know, I see athletes, the ones that don't have any talent, they're always willing to go in there and outwork these people that, that's got everything handed to them. They're willing to do it. These people that don't have talent, that got the talent, they're, they're lazy. And, you know, I've seen a lot of athletes, man, they just, they, they lazy. They got talent, but they lazy. And nine times out of ten, the person with no athletic gifts whatsoever that's willing to work hard, they always surpass the person with the talent because they're willing to go in there and do what's necessary to get it done. While the person with the skill set, they're not willing to do it because they think they know it all. Tank Davis, he's one of those dudes. He's young and he's immature and he's undisciplined. Well, my old coach used to tell me that the breakfast of champions is the undisciplined. The breakfast of champions is the undisciplined. Because the discipline, they eat up the undisciplined every single morning. It's not Wheaties. It's the undisciplined. See, the thing of it is, man, this guy, you know, if he had anybody who he, who he should mimic himself after, they always seem to get the cars and the jewelry right when they mimic Floyd Mayweather. But these dudes, they don't ever seem to ever want to mimic the hard work that the guy put in. The fact that this guy, you know, rich is on or what, but when he get into a fight, this man trained like he a poor man. This man keeps his weight down in between fights. Tank Davis don't do that. So here lies the manifestation of the undiscipline that we've seen in Tank Davis. This is beginning to manifest itself. And you can't move up in weight and fight guys who are probably bigger than you. You can't have the same kind of success. You may have skill, but you know, that, that don't mean anything. You're fighting guys bigger than you now. You're not gonna be knocking these guys out as fast as you were the 130 pound guys. You know, you're not gonna be doing some of the stuff that you were doing. Things are different. You're not gonna be able to stand in the pocket like you were at 130. Things are different. The guys at 135 and 140, they're bigger than you. You know, Tank Davis, you know, be what, over 35 pounds in between fights. Like, he's 35 pounds overweight. And at one point, I think he was like 175 pounds. And, you know, you fight at 130 or he fought at 130. Like, that's just, you know, you're asking for failure. You're asking for things to be, I mean, to be, you know, crazy. Because what's happening is, you know, the guy, since he's not living a fighter lifestyle, he's spending the majority of his time trying to lose weight during camp and see that's going to catch up to you see the guy that's disciplined that's able to sit there and work on his craft and really do the things he need to do in camp that guy he's going to beat tank davis i'm not on the bandwagon and i'm not about to say that tank davis can't beat vasily lomachenko because that's, that's stupid okay that's stupid because you know a boxing match it can be one way one day and it can be another way the other day i mean Sometimes you just don't fight well in that, in that particular match. You just don't fight well in that fight. It's just how it is. Everybody have off nights. But see, Tank Davis, you want your off night to be a night where you still dominate the other person. You don't want to struggle with the guy with a ruptured Achilles, Achilles tendon for 12 rounds. You don't want to do that. You don't want to struggle with a guy and go to, go to distance with an older guy with a ruptured Achilles tendon. And that's why people are getting on him. I still think, though, he went in there, he beat the hell out of Gamboa. You know, if anybody who can't talk is Terrence Crawford, I mean, Terrence Crawford really shouldn't be wanting to talk about anybody right now. You know, Terrence Crawford, you know, got that goofy contract. He's stuck, <laughs> can't do nothing, and he got knocked down by Mean Machine. You know, but, you know, Tank is getting Tank is young and immature and undisciplined. That's his problem. 
that's his problem, you know. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, he's been allowed to do this for so long that that's, 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 that's in him. But see, what's going to happen, man, and, and just as slowly but surely, okay, he's not going to be able to get away with doing this. If you're 30 to 40 pounds overweight and you're trying to make a fight and you're 135 pounds, you got problems. And you're not going to be, you're not, the training that you need ain't going to be there. You're not going to be able to spar because you're going to be constantly running mileage. You're going to be constantly sitting in saunas, you know, trying to get the water weight off you, trying to lose fat. And in the process, you're going to lose some muscle mass because you're losing the weight the wrong way. All of the above. It's amazing, man. You got millions of dollars on the line and, you know, you don't make your weight. Like, the breakfast of champion is the undisciplined. <laughs> That's what it is. And Tank Davis, he's extremely undisciplined. You know, you can look at his, his, his future in 10 years from now, man. This guy, he's going to be a shell of the athletic self that he want, that he used to be. Those skill sets, you know, they die down. And nowadays, you leave your prime quickly because these guys ain't fighting. You know, they ain't fighting three times a year. Tank Davis probably lucky if we see him fight once or twice a year. That's just what it is, okay? If he want to do anything, if he want to do anything like Floyd, man, go mimic the guy. Go mimic Floyd's work ethic because his work ethic suck. It suck. And you can tell, man, even, you know, even watching the guy on Instagram, you can tell, man, he really wasn't taking this particular camp as serious as he could have. He really wasn't too, but I tell you what, you can get in there with a Devin Haney, them boys hungry, man. Them boys hungry, them boys stay close to fighting weight. Tiafima Lopez, they stay, they, they stay close to their fighting weight. Vasily Lomachenko, they stay close to their fighting weight because they got the discipline to do it. They got the discipline. They're not out here at, at clubs, man, and drinking and, you know, doing all this other stuff and smoking. Tank Davis do it all, man. Tank Davis do it all. But he's going to see. He's going to see. I still think that he can beat all those guys. I actually think Tank Davis is more skillful than all those guys. I think he can beat them. But, see, me thinking that he can do that and him doing it, that's two different things. Because if Tank Davis don't tighten up, and I mean, the coach means if he don't tighten up, a disciplined fighter, somebody we least expected, not being Tiafimo, not being Devin Haney, not being, you know, even a guy like Shakur Stevenson, not, not being any of these top dogs, they're going to beat him. He's going to lose. And it won't be one of those guys that will be somebody that we won't expect.